Hi, I am The Disco and welcome to my video graphic journal. Welcome to day five of Autism Awareness Month. Today's topic is ABA therapy. And I unfortunately have to preface this video with a trigger warning as today's discussion will involve physical and emotional abuse. Applied behavioral therapy, also known as ABA, has been a widely used therapy for autistic individuals for decades. ABA therapy is based on the principles of behaviorism and focusing on modifying behaviors through positive and negative reinforcement. Positive reinforcement involves rewarding desired behaviors, such as using appropriate communication or engaging in social interactions with a preferred item or activity. This encourages individuals to repeat the desired behavior in the future. The use of ABA therapy is not only controversial, but also a subject of intense debate within the autism community. While some individuals and families report positive outcomes with APA therapy, others have expressed concerns about its effectiveness and potential harm. One of the primary concerns about ABA therapy is the use of punishment and aversive techniques to modify behaviour. Punishment involves the use of negative consequences such as reprimands, timeouts or removal of privileges to reduce or eliminate undesirable behaviour. Aversive techniques such as withholding food or administering electric shocks are even more extreme forms of punishment. Aversive conditioning is a type of behaviour modification technique that involves the use of negative stimuli. Electric shocks are one form of aversive conditioning that has been used in some ABA therapy programs to reduce or eliminate what is considered challenging behaviour. Many ABA therapy programs have used electric shock devices which deliver an electric current to the individual's skin when they engage in a behaviour considered non-neurotypical. The goal of this procedure is to teach the individual that engaging in said behaviour will lead to unpleasant sensations, thus decreasing the likelihood of the behaviour occurring in the future. The use of electric shock therapy causes physical harm to the individual, including burns, tissue damage and pain. The intensity and duration of the shock can affect the severity of the physical harm caused. The use of such harmful technique on a vulnerable population, such as individuals with autism, raises ethical concerns about the treatment of these individuals, not to mention the emotional harm caused to the individual. The person may become fearful of the therapy and experience anxiety before and during the treatment. The use of aversive conditioning techniques such as electric shock therapy may perpetuate the belief that autistic behaviours are abnormal and they need to be eliminated rather than accepted and accommodated. This can also lead to stigmatising attitudes towards autism. The use of electric shocks in ABA therapy has been highly controversial and widely criticised by many in the autism community. The use of electric shocks have been associated with physical and emotional harm, including pain, fear and trauma. And in 2019, the US Food and Drug Administration ban the use of electric shock devices for self-injurious or aggressive behaviours in individuals with disabilities, including those with autism. But some institutes, such as the Judge Rottenberg Centre, still use this form of aversive conditioning to this day. Another common form of aversive conditioning used in ABA therapy is timeout procedure, which involves removing the individual from a reinforced environment to a less preferred one for a specified amount of time. For example, if a child is experiencing a meltdown when they are denied access to preferred activity, the therapist may remove them from the activity and place them in a less stimulating environment, such as a quiet room or a chair in a corner for a brief period of time. The goal of this procedure is to teach the child that engaging in this behaviour will lead to the removal from the reinforcement environment, thus reducing the likelihood of it happening again. Instead of the child being patiently calmed, and then educated into the reason for the activity they are therefore punished for losing control of their emotions when the situation could have been critical in teaching the child how to regulate their own emotions, but no. An additional form of aversive 
conditioning used in ABA therapy is the response cost procedure, which involves removing a specific reinforcer or privilege when the individual engages in a challenging behavior. For example, if a child engages in hitting or biting behaviors when they are frustrated or angry, the therapist may remove access to a preferred toy or activity for a brief period of time. The goal of this procedure is to teach the child that engaging in this challenging behavior will lead to the loss of desirable items or activities. Critiques of ABA therapy also argue that the focus on compliance and obedience can lead to an overemphasis on route learning and memorization rather than promoting genuine understanding and problem solving skills. Some individuals receiving ABA therapy may be taught to comply with requests and follow instructions without necessarily understanding the reasons behind them. This can limit their ability to think critically and problem solve in real life situations. Moreover, several individuals with autism have reported feeling dehumanized and traumatized by ABA therapy. Critiques argue that this approach can lead to a lack of respect for an individual's unique identity and can cause harm to their mental health and well-being. Additionally, some critiques have pointed out that ABA therapy can be culturally insensitive and not take into account the unique experiences and cultural backgrounds of the individuals receiving the therapy. This can lead to a lack of understanding and respect for their cultural identity and values. In response to these criticisms, some advocates within the autistic community have called for an approach that focuses on accepting and supporting autistics for who they are rather than trying to make them conform to neurotypical standards of living. This approach is commonly known as the neurodiversity movement. Alternatives to ABA therapy such as speech therapy, occupational therapy and social skills groups can be super effective for individuals with autism. These therapies focus on building communication and social skills as well as providing support for sensory and motor difficulties that are common in autistic individuals. They are typically less intensive than ABA therapy and may be better suited to the unique needs of some individuals with autism. It is important to consider alternative evidence-based treatments that prioritize the autonomy and dignity of individuals and respect their human rights. It is crucial to promote acceptance and accommodation of autistic behaviors rather than perpetuating stigmatizing attitudes towards autism. <sighs> The past four days been a little heavy on topics and so the next two days I will be compiling a compilation of <laughs> funny autistic TikTok videos to lighten the mood. If you found this video useful please like and share with your family and friends. I am the list girl and just before I log off I have just one question for you. What is your next adventure?